everybody welcome back to my channel and today I am going to be doing this kind of spontaneous look actually I sat down to do something completely different and this is what happened so it's kind of like a bronzy daytime glam I don't know maybe this is too heavy for some people during the day maybe this is your nighttime glam uh, I have a little makeup crazy, so I'll rock this during the day. So I think that's what I'm kind of going to call it, is like a daytime glam look. But we'll see. So anyways, um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this. I really, really, really love the outcome of it. I think it turned out really pretty. So if you are interested in learning how to achieve this look, then just keep watching. Thanks, guys. in the shade Punjab, which is medium one. And I'm just gonna be dotting this all over my face. And then we're gonna go in with the Sigma Flat Top Kabuki brush and buffing it out all over our face. So I like to buff it in, as you can see in those circular motions, but then I also do stipple it slightly, especially when I get up near my eye area to really make sure it presses deep into those pores. Doing that is just gonna create a really pretty airbrushed effect and it's gonna make it look a lot better. Next I'm taking the Naked Skin Weightless Coverage Concealer and I'm going to be applying this underneath my eyes. And I'm going to go ahead and buff this out with a damp beauty blender. Doing this right after you've applied that product underneath your eyes, basically it's just going to guarantee that that product is just going to be very seamless and it's not going to dry any which would create creasing. So that's why I like to do it right after I apply. Then I'm gonna go ahead and set it and I'm using the MAC Pro Emphasize Powder and I'm using a Sigma Tapered Highlighting Brush to do this. Next I'm gonna highlight on my chin, down the bridge of my nose, and then the top of my forehead. And I'm just gonna buff that out again with a damp beauty blender. Now before we set that with powder, we are gonna go in with the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit. And I'm gonna be using those two dark shades to contour my face. So starting out, I'm gonna be taking the two lighter shades of the contour shades and mixing those together and putting this right in the hollows of my cheeks. And the way I apply this is on a MAC Duo Fiber Brush and I just stipple it in. Um, and I keep stippling, really I stipple for a long time until I create a really pretty blended effect. And you can see the difference between the two sides, so pretty. So then I'm gonna do that same uh, sort of technique on the other side of the face. Then I make sure to take that contour up the sides of my forehead, then in the center of my forehead, really making a whole loop over to the other side of the cheekbone. And definitely don't forget to contour your jawline. Not only does this make your jawline look more sharp, but it ensures that your face and your neck um, have a seamless transition. Then to set that cream contour, we're gonna be using the Anastasia Powder Contour. And again, I take a mixture of the two lightest shades, and I am applying this with an IT Cosmetics double-ended brush, and I'm using the fluffier side to apply this and to make sure that product is really blended out.
Then using the other side of that um, double ended brush, I'm going to be powder contouring my nose. Next we're going to be applying some bronzer and I'm using the Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in the shade 35i and I'm actually applying this with a Bare Minerals foundation brush. It's super old but it applies this so so well so I encourage you actually to use this brush when applying this product um, and we're just going to be applying this all over our face, our cheekbones, um, the bottom of our jaw, our neck just to make sure we look super bronzed and glowy. Next, I'm going to be applying this Too Faced blush in the shade Peach Beach, and I'm just going to be applying this with a big fluffy blush brush. I was trying to remember the brand, and I cannot. Real Techniques. Real Techniques. There we go. It's amazing. Love this brush. Then for highlighter, we're going to be using Benefits High Beam, and I'm going to be placing this on the tops of my cheekbones. and then down the bridge of my nose. And then I just blend this out using my fingertips. And then over top of that high beam, I actually am placing the airbrushed illuminizer powder from IT Cosmetics and literally guys this stuff is freaking amazing. I blend it out with a fan brush and it looks just oh look how pretty that is. I love it because it's not too strong of a highlight but it's oh my god it's just gorgeous and it really complements your skin and just makes your face look so pretty so I highly recommend this stuff. It's amazing. Now for brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to be first taking that spoolie in, brushing out my hairs, and then filling in my brows where I think it needs some filling in. And just a quick tip for brows. Um, don't go too heavy right in that front part of your brow or else it kind of starts to look um, a little bit too made up. So just a tip if you have trouble with your brows. Um, and then I like to go back out with that spoolie and blend that product out that I just placed. And voila, they are done. I went ahead and did both. So then while I'm taking the Lorac Pro Palette, and I'm going to be mixing the two shades Taupe and Mauve. And using an IT Cosmetics blending brush, I'm going to be putting this all over my crease, using this as a transition shade. Now I'm going to be taking a mixture of cream and taupe and then I'm going to be blending out just even more um, near my brow bone. Now I'm going to be taking the Revlon Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Burnished Bling and I'm going to be placing this directly on my lid, not going any higher than my crease. It's going to look a little bit harsh at first but we're going to go back in and blend that out so don't worry about it. Just worry about building up this color on your lid. And it's actually pretty wet, um, so once you apply it, just kind of wait a minute and let it dry. Now taking a mixture of Garnet and Gold, I'm going to be using a MAC 317 brush and just blending out where that met our crease line so that it's not super harsh and it looks super, super blended and transitions nicely.
Now for liner, I'm going to be taking the Balm Liner in Schwing, and I'm just going to be doing a little bit of a wing today. I absolutely love, love, love this liner because the applicator is super, super tiny, so you can create really sharp, really small wings. Um, so that's kind of what we were going for here, and it's really black and it's really matte, which those two qualities are what I look for in an eyeliner. Then after I did both eyes, I kind of realized I wanted it to be a little bit darker and a little bit thicker. So I went back in with my NYC liquid liner, which has a bit of a thicker applicator and just thickened up the liner and the wing a little bit more. Now taking that mixture of taupe and mauve on a pencil brush, I'm just going to be putting this on my lower lash line. And for a little pop in our inner corner, I'm going to be taking Stila Kitten and just using my finger to place that in the inner corners of my eyes. And then also I'm going to take a little bit of this and put it up on my brow bone. Then putting on mascara, I'm not going to show you guys that because it's super boring. Now onto lips. I am lining my lips with the Too Faced Perfect Lips in Perfect Spice. I love this lip liner. I feel like it goes with so many different things. So I highly recommend it. And it's absolutely great because the staying power is amazing with this stuff. It's pretty insane, actually. I use it as a lipstick a lot of times. But I'm using it as a lip liner today. Um, and then once you line your lips, kind of fill in your lips slightly. And this is going to help your lipstick last even longer. Then I'm taking the new Tarte Tardius Lip Paint. And this is in the shade Namaste. How freaking pretty is this nude, y'all? Oh my gosh, I love it so much. It's so, so pretty. It's the perfect nude. And this lipstick is actually amazing. I didn't know if I was going to love it, but I am obsessed with it. So once I apply that on my lips, I'm just going to use my finger and kind of blend it in so that it seamlessly blends into the lip liner. I'm really, really liking this lipstick too, because this is new, and it feels really good. It's different than a lot of matte lipsticks, because it's so creamy. It's like really, really moussey when you put it on. Almost kind of reminds me of a NYX soft matte lip cream, just like a little bit better, um, which better be freaking better. It's like $15 more than one of those, but... It feels really nice. It doesn't like seep into the cracks in your lips, but it still is matte, but it's minty too. I don't know. I'm really liking it so far. Also, side note, how cute are these sunglasses that I just got? Kind of dirty. <laughs> but aren't these so cute? They're like a purpley blue black. They are from, if you're interested, they are from Quay, Australia. Quay is Q-U-A-W, or pff, um, no, Q-U-A-Y. And they're just so cute. I see, I saw these all over Instagram, like, all the time, and I just knew they needed to be mine. So, yeah. So cute, so cute. I um, have some really fun new stuff that I want to show you guys, like, uh, that I got for Christmas clothing wise there's some really cute stuff but yeah during this video by the way um, it was kind of like these products these two products the Smashbox um, photo finish primer water was new and then the this Tarte Tardius lip paint was new I literally just bought it like earlier today and I thought hey let's incorporate it into a video and also side note so before this video I had not washed my face or anything like that so I thought it would be interesting to see how this um, Smashbox photo finish primer water did um, if you don't decide to wash your face in the morning it's supposed to like refresh with electrolytes and all that stuff so I thought it'd be kind of fun to see um, how your makeup went on if you just really didn't have time to wash your face. So I don't uh, recommend that, but it seems like it worked well. Any guys, anyways, thanks you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 
please make sure to thumbs up this video, like it, and check back soon for another video. Thanks, guys. Bye. And also, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to your girl.